G'day, mate. Welcome back to New Cycle with me, Judy. We're now heading into, well, our third episode, our third episode of our wonderful little town, where things are going swimmingly so far. We have, well, uh, a little bit of food production over here. So we have a couple of uh, soup kitchens, also our tools and our iron smelters. Uh, yeah, smelters, smelters, yeah, we're, we're, we're working our way. Uh, we also have wood collecting and also iron collecting. We also have mushrooms, good old fish and meat over here. We have the main city center here with, well, uh, clothes making, also training, vocational training, paper making, uh, a lovely stockpile, which is mostly full housing, the pub, the all important pub, uh, the main town center. You can tell it's um, horrible. Yeah, uh, we're also running the game incredibly slowly because there are about uh, three events I need to look at straight away as soon as we start today's episode. We have a little bit more what well, water, uh, water, wood, and iron collection over here. We have about uh, two iron mines we put in last episode. Also squeezed over right here, we have a little bit of fishing. Uh, I believe you're going to be set up for doing stone collecting. Yeah, we can throw somebody on stone. We also have some stone and wo wood over here. More water. Uh, stone and wood right here as well. Yeah, we'll throw another person on stone. Uh, and then over the back here, we have another warehouse with clay collection, brick making, also another stone collector. Uh, that's unlimited stone. And that's pretty much where we left off last episode. We do have, well, like I said, three events I need to get to. But before I get to that, it was pointed out to me in Discord that I made a mistake. I made a mistake in the previous episode. I made a crucial mistake, very important mistake that I need to fix straight away. And that is that I called the colony like. The problem with calling it like is if uh, we get a pop-up that says that like is having a death wave, that implies I like death waves. I don't like death waves. So I need to rename the colony. But before I rename the colony, I need to ask that very important question, very important question I like asking right at the start of every episode. And that is, well, can I borrow a like? I just like to borrow a like. I like to borrow a like before we get too far in the video. If you're not happy with the video, you didn't enjoy the video, by all means, you can have your like back. And we also need to change the name of the colony. Colony is going to be, um, well, of course, like and subscribe. Because, of course, it's going to be like and subscribe. Because, well, you should like and subscribe. You know, if you want to see more new cycle. It has just been released as of the time of recording. If you're interested, there is definitely a link down in the description below. Check it out. Check it out. I highly recommend new cycle. I've already got eh, 20, 30 hours in the game. I'm enjoying it so far. So, with that out of the way, uh, let's go look at some of these... Problems, yes. Oh, actually, no. Let's look at research. Research, we're up to cultivation. No, uh, surveillance, they're all done, they're all done, they're all done. Uh, stable routes. Stable routes will give us construction providing regular building maintenance and repair services. Okay, or we could get insulated furnaces, which will upgrade our... It's not a smelter, it's not a smelter currently. It's much worse than a smelter, but then we can start uh, uh, smelting copper and bronze. So let's do that. Then we'll come back to... I right, requires bricks. Okay, uh, let's make sure that we're cranking out bricks a little bit faster as well before we um, deal with some of these. So uh, we have a vital suggestion. Chief, we need more people to sustain what we've built. We can't keep relying on stray travelers finding us uh, or, or our scouts stumbling upon small settlements. We have a proposal to systemize our growth. I'm listening. We can form small envoys and send them off in certain directions. Hopefully some of them will discover communities who are unaware of our existence and willing to join us. It would be a good idea to give these envoys some of our best crafted products, a freshly sealed can of food, shiny new hammer, or a spotlessly clean outfit to help persuade the uplifting people who know nothing but deprivation. You can use this initiative as a periodic action if you like, sending envoys to look for new settlers. We will send small envoys to find and recruit communities in distant lands or nothing. Sure, I guess. Okay, and we have a guest. So, hi chief, I'm Carla. Great, welcome Carla. Excuse my haste, I've come a long way and you're the only group of people I've come across. I need your help. I remember a village, 20 people and our water wells have run dry. We couldn't find a permanent solution in our vicinity with our solution worsening day by day. Few villagers like me have gone to ask for help. Take a breath and rest, I don't have time for this. Sure, you can take a breath and rest. We've no choice but leave our home, but we have neither strength nor the resources to build a settlement from scratch. If you would have us, would like to join you. Though I hate to ask for more, it'd be a long and arduous journey. My people are already badly battered. We'll need supplies and resources to complete the journey. Can you help us? Can I spare 90 mils? I've got two and a half thousand. So probably. Can I spare 240 water? I've got 7,000. Probably. And 35 basic tools. I'm sitting at 2,000, which is the max I have in storage. 
Yeah, sure. All right, send that off as well. I don't want to deal with that because uh, that's an event that <laughs> I don't really want to deal with right at the moment. But I do want to uh, make sure we we're setting up last episode. You're doing fish. You're doing meat. You're doing vegetables. You're doing mushrooms. You have an error uh, about there not being any wood left. Okay. And in that case, throw somebody an iron. You who not available for seasons because it was winter. Winter's over. It's fine. All right. We now have the smelter. Can I go back into research and stable roots? Professional construction team, regular building, maintenance and repair service. Or divided layers, which requires that one. Uh, hmm. Crop rotation. Let's do crop rotation. Okay. Uh, all right. Reconstructing. Someone has begun to resemble a village. We're not a group of wanderers looking for scraps anymore. Though it feels as though our new way of living means working constantly, we can't hope to endure a life like this for too long. We need to think about adjusting our shifts to allow for a day of rest. So, new working schedule. We can have a new working schedule, which is everybody gets a one day off every 10 days, which gives us plus seven knowledge, uh, plus five morale, minus 15 workforce for all classes. Or we could say no. We're gonna say no. Uh, labor is important. Okay, uh, all right, back to this. You are doing winter. Okay, nothing happened. You're doing winter. Nothing happened. Okay, uh, can I throw more people into herbs? Not, I'm sure what herbs do. Can I also change you across to clay and throw more people at the clay problem? All right, uh, we have activate building. We have the ability to make copper. So let's start making some copper. I have 140 copper ingots. And you're going to use, that'll be 12 per day. That would be 624 per day. Uh, let's go with 12 per day for the moment. Okay. Uh, what other things did I unlock? I unlocked the scout skill, which we haven't built yet, which I means I guess we need to dump one of these down. You... Don't have stone left. Oh no, that's iron. That's stone. Okay, delete the stone deposit because it doesn't exist anymore. Uh, and then can I throw in, where was it? Utilities, uh, scout skills. You'll happen to fit there. Can I throw you there then? All right, uh, we've completed that objective, which was to send her off with all the materials she needed. And that's been our only unlock recently, tier two. Ah, uh, smelter. That's what I want. Can I upgrade you? No, I can't upgrade you. Need, you need wire. But we now have farms. Can I throw a farm in our little fertile land over here? Cool. Uh, we're still going to bump up the population by another eight. Color's due in 18 days. That hopefully fixes that problem. Uh, you're facing sideways. I sort of want you facing the road but I have no indication of which is forward when putting you down. Sort of helps a lot. All right. Uh, we also have... No, 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 no. So we have nothing else. Okay. Scout guild. All right. We're going to create a scout team. Far as I know, this costs us absolutely nothing. We have four available people. I still have four available people. I still have four available people. So as far as I can tell, it costs us absolutely nothing. But what it does is give us access to the world map. On the world map, I can send the scouts out. We're going to send one scout to the north, uh, being team number one. I'm going to send one scout to the south, being team number two. Now, this is where a lot of the map opens up. A lot of the game opens up. We can actually bring in and, well, we can colonize different parts of the map and bring in resources. And that's probably going to be very important in the not-too-distant future. Can I cut that back a little bit? gonna force us to run this event okay chief the sounds could only come from machine could our ears be deceiving us probably not come on shippy shippy selling the harbor a little bit faster yeah, yeah, that's, 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 that's definitely a good sign. 
we have nothing and a battleship rolls into, into town. Yep, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, okay, can I do... I guess we need to do that one. Uh, no, we can do expand. No, I can't. Okay, fine. I need stable roots. Yeah, stable roots is locking us back. So can we get stable roots done? All right, come on, shippy, shippy. Oh, look, you're not even sailing past. You're just going to park parallel to the coastline. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? All right, uh, demand a meeting. Yeah, we're going to ignore that for a little while longer. Okay. Back to our things. So we're making 20 tools per day. I don't need that many. Can I cut back a little bit? And I can also, I want to up the amount of clay I have in storage. And I think, what did you cost to build? Wire. Okay. No, I think I want to throw in yet another stockpile. Okay, and also, can I do... You don't have stone here, so I can build over those stones. Okay, just want to make sure. I want to make sure I can build over things. Also, this, 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 this. Uh, no idea what's in here, but this. Yeah, okay. Uh, farm, can I select grain? And we start getting some grain. Also, you have a second item there, uh, which means I want to grab a second farm. Uh, that's the iron that we're still using, right? Yes. Okay. Can I go production? Can I go farm? Can I throw a second farm there? I can sort of see which direction you're facing. Uh, can I go road? That's a lot of messages. Okay. Uh, rising demand upkeeps. Oh, yeah, because I need to build a... Other utilities? Maintenance building. Uh, can I throw a maintenance building? You know what? Uh, we're going to throw you in here. And we're going to wrap your road out this way. Okay. All right. So let's start with you. Chief, we've come a long way as a community. Our needs for different infrastructure for diversified needs and production changes is increasing rapidly. Our settlement needs permanent solutions that will support advanced construction methods. In addition, advanced structures need a regular maintenance. Build a maintenance building assigned workforce to manage the priority of construction activities through the city. Track the resources to be spent on maintenance activities and determine the level of upkeep. Let's get started. Okay, so I need one of these. This is in, no, it's not in because I don't have glass. Can I get glass, please? Cool, all right. Uh, group of travelers, uh, six workers. Yes, please. And message from scout team number two. So scout team number two has uh, uncharted ter territory. A large area looks empty and untouched except for a few ruins of buildings from long ago. There's nothing to see. The few woods and harbors smell the few woods may harbor small prey and judging by the weedy ground water can be found without going too deep below the surface uh, possible resources even if we don't find any useful information we propose to build a watchtower here to increase our awareness of the surroundings uh, whatever is useful to us should be sought out so our scout team has come to here it's found the valley okay and in the valley I can build some things okay first thing I need to build is well surveillance okay which does need canned food I'm going to go with. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But uh, what I am sure about is our scout can go visit other places. So I'm going to send scout team two to here. And they're going to wander over here and find out what's exactly in there. Okay. Uh, you know what? The best way to find out is just by clicking the button. So I'm going to build a watchtower. Hopefully that finds some information about this general area. Okay. Uh, scout team number one has found vast plains of grass and rocky ground lead to a steep slopes raised into the sky. With a hint of mountain ranges at hand, these lands may be abundant resources with ample rainfall. Possible resources to be found in the region. Yep, okay. If nothing works, at least you can build a watchtower so we can interact more with people passing by. Let's help our city in receiving more information. Okay, and same story. Scout team number one can go to here and find out some more details. We're going to also do the exact same experiment. And I'm going to build a watchtower here. Okay. 
Uh, one thing I've noticed is stone. Stone. I have 300 stone. Okay, I need to have more stone. Uh, you don't have stone. You do have stone. Can I just throw people at that problem? Uh, you have stone. Oh, no, you have no stone left. Okay, never mind. And you have stone. Yep, I'm gonna throw people at that problem too. And you don't have stone. Okay, can I very quickly have a look around the map? Is there stone anywhere I missed? That's iron. The stone that was over here has been picked up. The stone that was over here has been picked up. This stone here is covered by you, I hope. It looks like it. And, okay, so the answer is no. All right, can I set you... We have an awful lot of clay. We're making bricks as fast as we can. Okay, we're going to probably need another pit to make more stone. Okay, uh, okay. scout team number two. That was quick. Uh, resource area not but enough for us to produce for a long time. We try our luck elsewhere. Okay, so there's nothing there. Uh, can we go to... Yeah, send the scout team. Okay, motion's arrived. Can I sell you... Clothes are worth a lot of money. And I'm going to buy bronze. Confirm. Only because I haven't made any bronze yet. Alright. Uh, alternative companions. Okay. Animals were close friends to our ancestors. In the first moments of our civilization end, they were first to be abandoned. After a while, they started to be used as a source of meat. I've met some animals. I can understand that entirely. This hunter-prey relationship, which has lasted for half a century, can now change. As we now have enough resources yeah. and our children are growing up, the world we're sharing is once again an option. Our growing welfare attracts stray cats and dogs to our settlement. People end up adopting them as pets, even if they don't initially intend to. It would be best to encourage this state of affairs. So, uh, we can have pets, plus seven morale, and the pet infestation chance is reduced, but rations needed per person increased by 20% for all distribution levels. That's a lot of extra food. Or, we could say no, excess resource consumption, risk of alliance fleas, diseases and avoidable injuries we're gonna go with yes because the bad things sound very bad okay so we're gonna take that one all right back to research we now have glass can i get expansion and i also want to change you over to make glass and i need to change you over to make sand cool all right so we now have sand coming in we still don't need can i turn on i still don't have uh products so i need another pit to make stone uh, because we went through an awful lot of stone very quickly. Can I throw you in here? And you're due in a couple of days. Build a maintenance building. We built one of those. There we are. Nope. No, we need a glass. I don't have any glass yet. Okay. Make it the glass. Uh, you're making 59 per day and you're using... Can I... It's right click, it turns out. Turn on sand. Uh, production per day, zero. Consumption per day, zero. What are you? A foreign merchant. Oh. The other person I traded with. Okay. Uh, production, 29. Consumption, 24. Okay, call that a deal. Uh, scout team has found... I know as soon as we found every rock in this region, mineral veins are off the glacier surface on steep rocky slopes. So we can utilize the ore here with a mining facility. Okay. So, wrong button. So out here in this province, this province, I have built, I've now built a workforce. Uh, so it has the immigration effect. Uh, to do this, I need region improvement, which is not there right now. Uh, we're gonna send scout team number one there and I can build a mine. So mine is gonna require Required developments, region improvement. Okay, so no, I can't access region improvements yet. So we've got a little way to go. Little way to go. All right. Can we get you built? 
because I'd like to have you built undone. Meanwhilst, uh, you require wire, which we can't do. Water pump is unresearched. Uh, resident tier two requires wire. And so who is it that makes wire? It's you, isn't it? Development requires switches and circuits. Okay, so I'm going to need another smith. Can I jump ahead of the curve and throw in a smith? Yeah, it looks like a good spot. Uh, road. Okay, and power's okay so far. Alright, uh, there's no resource left. Okay, cool. Uh, can we send the scout team? That's two for two for the valley. That's not a good sign. Okay. Uh, we got the people, the people, the people we gave food and water to and other things. Uh, they came and joined us for 11, 2, 5, what's that? Uh, 16, 18, 18. Carla, Carla brought 18 friends, not bad. Also, that means we got to 100 people. Uh, yep, there we go. And we built a maintenance building. So maintenance, I want to set up maintenance. We're going to go for full maintenance. Requires logs. Do I seriously not have any logs? I have plenty of logs. Okay, and I'm going to put two smart people and eight crappy people in there. Yeah, I have one smart person left, which is good. I'd like to have a smart person hanging around. And they're going to do full maintenance. We could do medium maintenance, medium upgrade, medium accident rate, uh, less upgrade costs, higher accident risk. Or we could go full in. I'm going to go full maintenance because there's a low accident. And I think that's going to be more important in the long run. Okay. You have found... Mm, huh? You don't anything, but the trees can be made use of. Okay, so you have trees there we can chop down. All right, can we go there? You can send a woodcutter? Okay, so st structures... Let's throw... So I need to find region improvement. Okay. How do we do? Need a cemetery. Well, I don't have access to a cemetery. Uh, where is cemetery? Okay, first off, let's click that. Region improvement, region improvement, region improvement. Uh, no. Do you get access to uh, other, other utilities? Guardhouse. I need wire. Okay, so I need to have the next one done as well. Uh, everything is waiting on one research. Okay, increase the population to 100. All right. Uh, that farm's running, and I forgot to... Can you cook grain? You're doing fish, you're doing meat, you're doing vegetables, and you're doing mushrooms. Okay, I don't know what we do with grain. Uh, can I? No. Uh, what is that? That's tin ingots, that's bronze ingots, that's workwear. Can I just cross one of those out and put in grain? We're just producing grain, okay. And you, I never set up. Can I get you running on that resource? Okay. Uh, we now have a water pump and wire, which means you. I want you to do wire, please. Can you start cranking out the wire, which requires copper ingots, which means I need to actually start making copper ingots properly. Okay. Scout team, again, uh, found a whole lot of nothing. Uh, it is certain there's an underground groundwater source here. Okay. So, did find something. Uh, can I get... No. Okay. So, we found water. Uh, we'll go to here, send scout team number one here. Uh, scout team number two found. Uh, all vein beneath the area. Start by building a mining facility. See what we reach when we get deep enough. Okay. And send scout team two there. Okay. So. I need region improvement still. I have a watchtower, but I haven't actually put any people there. And here I've at least put people in. Okay. So, 
Uh, can we go... So you're going to start making wire. That's going to be very important. I'm going to swap you across to wire as well. Uh, and I'm going to crank up the workforce. And I have plenty of iron ingots. I do. So I'm going to swap you to copper as well. I'm just going to start cranking out the copper, cranking out the wire, because... I need to access this, which is going to cost 125 wire. And that, is that the next tier? Okay, that's sort of not readable. I don't have the population. I can see that much. And yes, that is the next tier. I also don't have enough knowledge. Okay, so we just need to waste some time. If we need to waste some time, I think we're going to click on this. I come on behalf of the Confederation of an Autonomous City-States. Yep, heard that before in post-apocalyptic movies. My name is Senior Colonel J. Hamilton, Commander of the 13th Squadron. I extend my greetings to you. I demand a village... Uh, I demand a village. I demand a meeting with the leader of this community. You may speak freely. Uh, let me guess. Chief, Captain, or Mayor. At least I hope you don't call yourself General or Governor. I can see your whole village getting worked up about my arrival. The beautiful machine that carried me is the TMS Honor. Despite being a century old, it's still fully functional. On the way home, we have an unfortunate series of events. Fully functional. And there's a problem with our fully functioning ship. Yep. We lost our engine in Violent Storm that lasts for two weeks straight. And three of our comrades were severely... Ooh, comrades. Okay. Wounded during attempts to repair it. Despite an unresponsive rudder and malfunctioning engine, thanks to my vast seamanship and leadership skills, we managed to follow the coastline and avoid being tossed around the open sea, eventually finding your settlement. Ah, oh, glad you didn't incur any serious losses. Of course not. If I thought you were sufficiently advanced, I would likely stay and establish diplomatic relations on behalf of the Confederation. Unfortunately, you seem to only be a bunch of stragglers. Aha! Uh -huh. Therefore, without further ado, I request you support for a quick repair, for we cannot give anything in return. We will also need to replenish our stock of supplies. Normally, a Confederate officer would not condescend to ask for anything from a small and desperate settlement like yours, but today the circumstances demanded. Think hard about your answer. The Confederation does not make trays, but always responds to rejected demands. Oh, it's like that, is it? Okay. Uh, leave and take your broken ship uh, with you. Uh, Chief, the people have... A working warship we can't even produce steel yet is such a bravado necessary of course it is i don't see any reason to help a risky opinion considering we know very little about them we will provide the necessary assistance so for 10 days i get a labor theft at uh, minus 20 percent to workforce for all classes and minus 40 for all classes they want 335 iron ingots which i can afford uh they want 85 basic tools which i can afford uh they want 1500 meat which i cannot afford and they also want the vegetables, which I have no idea because they're not up here on my list. I have no idea how many vegetables I've got. Okay. Uh, no, take the broken ship away. Let's see, another bunch of fools who think they are the center of the world and can overcome anything. Uh, allow me to give you a broader perspective. Yep. All seems fine. Uh, oh. Alright, can I swap that out for veggies? Oh, I have plenty of veggies. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, hang on. The gun's moved. Look, only three guns fired! The fourth gun's broken. But we've at least got that on our side. The fourth gun is broken. Also, the fourth gun swings into that tower. Probably shouldn't mention that. Okay. Uh, warning shots. Suppressing fire. Uh, message from the scout team. Let's talk to the scouts. They're at least nice. Uh, several fresh tracks in this area. Maybe home to large herds. Several species, including big game. Maybe a migration route. Definitely a good hunting spot. Okay. Meat makes us resilient. Uh, can we make sure the scouting team can either go north to the mountain or inland to the forest? Let's go north to the mountain. Uh, okay. And can I get... A hunter's cabin and a well. Yes, because it looks like we're going to need meat. Uh, and the only thing I can get here is a mine, which is a little way away. Yeah. I still. I have 335 out of 340 stone. Okay, all right. 
Uh, warning shots. I believe this was an adequate showcase. If you still find it difficult to understand, we can provide more effective examples. Now try again. What do you say? We get the picture, no need to take anything any further. Okay. Which now means I have this. I have this that I need to deal with, uh, which is give them a whole lot of eye and a whole lot of basic tools. The meat's going to be the big issue because I don't actually have that spare. And you don't have copper ingots. A copper ore, rather. Uh, you are not maxed out. Okay, can I pull people off that? Can I throw them on here instead? And we'll throw somebody on coal. And labor theft for 20 days. Okay. Uh, perfect maintenance. Excellent. Uh, winter. Yeah. Okay, so where do I have free labor? Uh, you are doing fish. Just one person. Okay, you're doing a rock. We're going to put one off there. <laughs> so, I want the stone. I want the stone. Um, okay, we're gonna go one for one. Uh, we're gonna go to you. You have known stone. You just have one person doing uh, wood cutting. You have three doing stone. I'm gonna throw one person on stone, one person on wood, just to sort of spread them out a little bit. You don't have. You do have. Reach max storage limit for brick. Uh, brick's not on my list. Okay, well, good news is I can bring back people. Bad news is, store my brick, please. Uh, more clothes, more clay, more coal. Although I've got 1800 coal, so maybe I can pull somebody off that. Okay, uh, what else are we maxed on? Basic tools, but I'm not making any currently, but I'm gonna up that anyway. Uh, iron ingot will up that. Iron ore will up that. Uh, mushroom. Actually, I don't really want to increase mushrooms. Because uh, I don't want to over farm the mushrooms. And water's going down. Oh, water's going down a lot. Okay. Uh, can I get... Uh, resources. Tier 1. Wells. Uh, there's a well here that I never placed. Uh, so let's put definitely a well here I never placed. Okay. Can I put you... Oh, there's four bits of... Whoa, hang on, there's more water here. Okay. Can I put you... Here. Can I put you... Here. Can I put you... Straight line... There. Uh, road from there to there. This is probably why I don't have any stone, because I keep spending on roads. At least to there. Uh, what's your problem? Uh, just labor theft. Okay. Uh, you don't have any of that, so you can go back to that. We have wire, right? Wire is not on my list. Uh, wire, 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 wire. Okay, 138. I can finally do that one. Okay. Uh, can I do wells? Uh, there's a well right there. Uh, well, 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 grab that water. Okay, and... Okay, they're not highlighted. Cause, not because they've been tapped out, but because there's just... They're already tapped. Okay. Uh, the last thing I want to do is take a natural well and drink it dry. Okay. So we have two, three over here as well. Can I grab that as well? And there's one here. Oh, and there's one here. Okay. Cool. I think that's all the water on the map. So, uh, stone is still an issue. And you would never turn on. Okay, can I throw one person? Well, I need more labor. Okay, so where can I find some labor? Uh, clothing production consumption. Okay, so not really in there. Although we have this current debuff. Uh, I don't want five people just sitting there. Okay, that didn't help. Uh, paper, 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 paper. Uh, 
Uh, paper's going of research. Uh, you're doing... So, one lesson here. Uh, copper ingots, we're producing two per day and one using ten. That says I'm using six. Ah, because I'm going to set you back to tools. Uh, tools, we can probably cut back on slightly. That's a six per day. This is hurting. This is hurting an awful lot. It's also hurting to try and establish exactly what the numbers are. Uh, okay, you're doing ingots, uh, iron still, just because I want this gone. Uh, you only have one person. You have one person. Uh, it's winter, so you're doing a whole lot of nothing. You're doing a whole lot of nothing. You're doing a whole lot of nothing. I could cut this back. Uh, herbs. Herbs are not maxed out, so I don't see a reason to turn it off. Um, okay, any area is over. Okay, so we... One people died from disease, disaster, lack of water or food. Know nothing about it, but okay. Uh, joined us, 35 births of place. The population increased by 59, but yet I don't have enough people. Uh, water production is less than consumption. Wow. And ration production was also less than. Okay. Eight new developments, 386 new structures, two new regions, four regions improved for the first time. Okay. So first thing I need to do is I need to come in here and I need to cut you back from double rations to regular rations. Uh, clothes should be regular for a long time. Oopsie. Uh, you should be regular and you should be regular. Seems I forgot to set some things. Uh, what are you complaining about? Labor theft. Yeah, I can't do anything about that. Okay. All right. So that's that problem. Next, we're going to go to here. You underground water source. Okay. So out here, you've done this area. Can you go to the forest? You highlands. Okay. Structures. Okay. Nine meat, seven in water. Okay. And a road is still out of the question because they don't have enough stone. Uh, mine requires stone. Woodcutter requires not much stone. Uh, okay, I need to have a road. All right. Uh, gray area. Okay, hang on. Before I get into that, can I... Rash, it's just minus 100. Okay, cool. Uh... So I can't do any more research. So research is fine for right now. Uh, where can I find some free labor? So I can cut back on paper for right now. Uh, clothing, we're now consuming a lot more. So I'm gonna turn that up. Uh, no, that doesn't help me. You don't help me. Uh, there was utilities. A guardhouse. Oh god, your area effect is tiny. Okay, because you guys are going to complain about lack of security. So I need to give you a guardhouse. But the range on this is horrible. Uh, in that case... Can I put you here? And then I guess... I put the next one here. Hopefully it doesn't require any people. Okay. Uh, so, glass. Okay. Where is... I find right-clicking on this is much better. Okay. So, uh, glass, 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 glass. Glass. Glass, there. Okay. Uh, we have some glass. So, you know what? Let's cut back on our sand. Because it requires a lot of people. Cut back on our glass. Uh, we'll keep the building active. Zero per day. Wow. Okay. Ten per day. I just want you active. Okay. Bricks is storing. Mushrooms are fine. Iron ore. 
you're doing copper, you're doing, you were doing coal, but you've been turned off. Uh, you're doing iron, you're doing wood, uh, you're doing stone, you're doing wood, you're doing stone and iron, you're doing mushrooms and meat, uh, you're doing iron, one and, uh, just one and three, yeah, one and one, okay, and that was a bit of lightning, but that's fine, okay. So we just need more stone, a lot more stone. Uh, okay, so scout team. Mountain, wow! Harsh and impassable geography. There were plenty of green in the surrounding areas and rumbling of streams are still very strong. We need to explore the detail, find out about possible resources and whether the area is suitable for improvement. Iron, copper, tin, coal, water, log, iron ore and meat. Wow. Uh, foot in the region, building construction costs and travel times will increase. Oh. Okay, that sounds less appealing. Uh, okay, let's start there. And the other scout team. Forest, show me the report. Okay. Full life with dense forest texture and greenery. It would be useful to explore thoroughly to see what's available. Okay. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, let's go there. Okay. So, we'd have to build a road. I need to get a road to here. Uh, which is 340 stone. I just keep spending the stone. It's pretty much what it comes down to. Okay, how much free labor do I have? I have a few. So if I crank you up and I change you to stone, it's 17, 14, 10 per day. So stone overall production is 35 per day. I'm consuming 17, I don't know how. Uh, you're complaining because you're actually producing so slow you produce nothing. Okay, so I just need to get the storm. Uh, plus efficiency of your windmills, nice. Uh, workforce for hunters and gatherers, bad. Uh, offshore fishermen, well, that's fine. I don't have any. Lightning strike, bad. Uh, labor theft, bad. And uh, need a cemetery, bad. Okay. Uh, we're going to... I can't get to cemeteries. I think the cemeteries are up here somewhere. All right, so I'm stuck. I'm really stuck. Okay. Uh... And the windmill has been destroyed. Fine. Throw in another windmill. Utilities, windmill, right there. Okay. All right. I do have the option of upgrading buildings. So, uh, tier two, residence, holds more people, also needs more power. Uh, a water pump gets us even more water. Water is fine now. I've got to tap all the rest of the water and turned off double rations. Actually... We can try doing that to get extra labor out of them. Yes. Okay. Uh, the smelter uh, will bump up a lot of the power usage, but that sounds like a deal to me. And uh, utilities, the storehouse is also going to start using power, but also store more stuff. Uh, how full is our storehouse? This storage max overall, not really maxed, but uh, I want utilities, you windmill. Yep, this sounds like an easy solution and it costs me iron and wood, uh, both of which I have in some abundance. There, there, there. All right, well, I think, I think uh, the scout team's are going fine. This is being filled in slowly. I need to give them about a thousand more meat. I have 800 in stock, but it seems like they only get what new comes in. So that's going to be my issue. Yeah, it's only what new resources I get. But they don't seem to be in any rush, so that seems to be fine. But I do know that I'm starting to run long on time. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave this episode here. We have enough housing still, I think. Yep, I have enough housing, just uh, we're going to have to put in some more housing in the next episode. We have a guardhouse, two of them, which keeps the people happy, which means they just want some medical. We have a social hierarchy, it's a grey area that we need to deal with, but I don't have to deal with that right now. Water is still going up. Mushrooms are maxed. Iron ore is maxed. Uh, the... no, not bronze. Uh, copper ingots, there's a few of. Wire... 
I didn't put wire on the list. Oh, no, I didn't put wire on the list. Uh, wire on the list is right there. We are running out of food. We're running out of me, uh, leather, rather, which is not worrying at all. Uh, no, you just have an area because we just maxed out on iron ore. But you're about to get upgraded, so then we'll start using iron ore again. Maybe that's my answer. I need to cut back on these. Just one person. And you're not doing iron ore. You're not doing iron ore. You're doing copper. You're turned off. Uh, who else was doing iron ore? You. You only have one person as well. And... I think that's it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, what we're going to do is... Yeah, we're going to leave this episode here. We'll come back for the next episode for more... Um, well, more new cycle. See whether, you know, the kid that runs flat out makes it there or not. Uh, also, see if... The brand new smelter is more effective than the old style smelter. Just wish I could get the camera lower. Anyway, like I said, I need to leave this video here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. Hope to see you back here for the very next video for more new cycle. Because I want to play more with the world map. The world map is where it is at. Also, we still need to get belts and trains. Belts and trains are also going to be very important. Either way, I need to leave it here. Thank you for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. See you in the very next video. All right, bye.